Today we're going to talk about optimizing GPU programs. Now the whole reason we want to use a parallel platform like the GPU is to solve problems faster. And in turn, the reason we might want to solve problems faster could be simply because we want to solve a problem faster, or more often it's because we want to solve bigger problems or solve more problems. So the good news is that it's often the case that the first initial port of a problem gets a speed up, assuming that you've got a parallel problem to begin with. And uh, in my experience, this is, this is actually when a lot of GPU programmers get hooked. You know, over the weekend, they go home, and out of curiosity, they try porting some piece of their existing CPU code to the GPU, and they get a nice speed up, a 5x or 8x speed up. And that's, that's what sort of gets them hooked and makes them realize that they could uh, put some more effort into this and get, get a bigger speed up. So if you have a naturally parallel problem, uh, it's often the case that that first initial CUDA port will, will get you a, a good speed up. And that's cool. But... You know, by definition, GPU programmers care about performance. That's why they're using the GPU. That means they often want to spend additional effort to maximize the speed up beyond that first initial try. So in this unit, we're going to talk about how to optimize GPU programs. So cast your mind back to unit two, when we talked for a little bit about how some basic principles of efficient GPU programming. So check which of these principles accurately correspond to things we talked about in unit two about efficient GPU programming. Do we want to decrease arithmetic intensity? Do we want to decrease the time spent on memory operations per thread? Do we want to coalesce global memory accesses? Do we want to do fewer memory operations per thread? Do we want to avoid thread divergence? Do we want to move all data to shared memory?